acute or chronic mostly acute and this bronchitis can become severe to produce a bronchopneumonia where we can see acute inflammation of the lungs bronchopneumonia the consolidation is patchy I shall discuss it with a picture but before that I would like to say the bronchopneumonia the age group is important here this occurs in the extreme age groups like a very old person and a young baby or somebody infant or even neonates so it is more common before the age of 5 years and more common after the, after the age of 75 years because it is said that during these two extreme age of life the immune status of the person of that age group is very very low as a result of this thing the infection can set in and most commonly it is a staphylococcus aureus infection the other infection can be influenza pneumonia klebsiella pneumonia all this infection can also occur at the same time now let us discuss something about the meaning of the word bronchopneumonia so i would like to repeat again this infection present the infection begin from a bronchus or bronchi which has a bronchitis it has acute inflammation which will produce exudate so bronchus will be filled up with exudate and sometime what happens this exudate will spill over into the adjacent alveolus as a result of this thing this infection has a patchy appearance we can see the number patches in this left lung we can count it how many patches we can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 patches each of these patches has a bronchus or bronchi at the center and around this bronchi all this alveolus are filled up with exudate so this exudates are very much limited that is why it has taken a patchy appearance so loba pneumonia is a diffuse consolidation in the bronchopneumonia it is a patchy consolidation now look at this gross again if you look at this gross of these two lungs let us con let, let us concentrate on the lung on your left hand side we can see the lung tissue with two different colors the darker portion here which is a normal lungs but the lighter area which is abnormal abnormal means what this is a part of the lung which is consolidated this is a part of the lung which has exuded in the bronchus as well as in the alveolus so now we are getting another difference between the loba pneumonia and bronchopneumonia in the loba pneumonia the exudate is present in the alveolus only but in the bronchopneumonia the exudate is present in the bronchi or the airway and the alveolus also this is a microscopical picture which is not a good one so i would like to read out this uh, description sometime if the picture is not good you should go for the description most of the time in the questions particularly the question on bronchopneumonia this is a very classic description that we might find in the exam and the question as well patchy areas of alveoli that are filled with pmn and extended into the adjacent bronchi so what is pmn pmn is polymorphonuclear cells which is another name for you are right neutrophils and this is a problem with this kind of software i can't talk with you i can't get your responses but you have to listen to me now complication of this kind of pneumonia is one very simple complication but it is not those simple bronchopneumonia classically produce a large lung abscess 
lung abscess also can be seen with the other pneumonia like Loma pneumonia but abscess formation is a very very common complication of this kind of pneumonia please remember also both of this pneumonia can produce sepsis both of this pneumonia can produce sepsis which ultimately can produ produce ARDS adult respiratory distress syndrome so also this is the this is this also can be a complication of this kind of pneumonia now clinical course of this bronchopneumonia is a little different from the loba pneumonia this clinical course is pretty quick very quick you can get a fever chest pain and productive sputum and it is basically purulent the patient will cough out absolutely yellow color sputum because it basically contains huge amount of exudate so what we are understanding from these two pneumonia that these two pneumonia we get a huge amount of exudate but this exudate which are present in this airway or in the alveolus it can still get out once the patient is coughing this exudate can get out so this is some way is better for the prognosis of the patient yet bronchopneumonia despite all these facts it has a very very poor prognosis even it has a very bad very high incidence of mortality now this is we are going to discuss about the atypical pneumonia and I will discuss a little bit about atypical pneumonia after that I will call it a day I would like to discuss the basic difference between the atypical pneumonia and bacterial pneumonia a bacterial pneumonia that we discussed so far is caused by a bacteria as the name suggests like bronchopneumonia so in this bronchopneumonia and loban pneumonia it is a bacteria as a result of that we get exudate and most of these exudates are present in the alveolar alveolus or in the bronchus 